everybody, welcome back to my channel, Maple and Home. Today I am in my living room and we are going to get it decorated for summer. I do wanna take a quick second here and to apologize for some of the background noise. We live right next to our neighborhood's little park and like a green space. And so the HOAs, like landscapers are out today and they are doing quite a bit of loud work right now, unfortunately. There is really no other time for me to film, so I do apologize if you can hear any of that in the background, but I am so excited to be decorating for summer here in the living room. I decorate with a lot of blues and yellows. I am looking forward to getting this done. It is kind of a cloudy day today. It's a little dark in here. Those blues and yellows will just brighten everything up in this space, so I am very excited. I have already cleaned all the surfaces, wiped everything down, taken down all of the old decor. So we are going to get straight into the decorating. So I really want to go with something a little bit more simple in here. I don't want to overload this space. We are gonna start in this corner and get right to it. So we're starting right off here in the corner with this shelf above my armchair. I wanted to switch some things up here. So I took this antique farmhouse style scale from the top of my set of floating shelves across the room where it's been forever now and just placed it here with two matching mini plants from I believe last year's Hearth and Hand line. I think they have these succulent plants again though, but in a different pot this year. This blanket is one that I purchased from Pottery Barn several years ago. I placed a small lemon pick from Michael's in a bud vase on the lamp next to it for a complimentary pop of yellow. I got this black vase from Hobby Lobby recently this year. I've been looking for a black vase to add some depth to my collection, as all the ones that I had were white or beige, and I finally found one that I liked. Inside, I added some greenery branches that I purchased from Amazon, and I will be sure to link anything that I can find available for you down in the description in case you're interested in taking a closer look at them.
I wanted to switch out my purple spring prints for some blue and white ones in a chinoiserie style to go with all the blue and yellow that I've got. And it does tie into some of those aspects from the kitchen, which if you haven't seen that decorate with me, I will link it down below. I just found these prints on Etsy. I backed them onto some blue cardstock for a budget-friendly new look in these frames. I'll probably want to eventually replace them with photos printed from Walgreens, but for the size of this frame, they can be a little expensive to get them from there, and this works just fine for now. I do want to take a quick second here to welcome you to my channel if you're new and welcome you back if you're returning. My name is Amanda and I am a stay-at-home mom to soon to be three little boys. In fact, hopefully by the time you see this, our newborn baby boy might have already arrived. I love sharing about all things home decorating and homemaking here on my channel. So if you love that as well and you're enjoying today's video, definitely be sure to hit the thumbs up down below. And I would be so appreciative if you would please consider subscribing to the channel as well. I would love to have you stick around a while and become part of my YouTube family here.
kept the rest of this area pretty much the same with the small faux topiaries inside the greenhouse and the usual books next to it. But instead of putting a photo frame here, I added some cement houses that were from Hobby Lobby's Christmas collection a few years ago. I always love looking for everyday pieces, even when I am browsing seasonal collections. <music> My top floating shelf gave me a little bit of grief this go around. At this point, I don't think it's a video of mine if I don't show you some arguably excruciating back and forth with some decorating. Since I moved the farmhouse scale over to the other side of the room, I had to think about how I wanted to replace the height that it brought, and it also took up quite a bit of space, so I had to play with that as well. And while I like the lemon arrangement that I ended up putting here from Michaels, who always seems to have great lemon themed items. I had trouble figuring out how to balance that height on the other side and make it work well. I always wonder if I should just edit a lot of that back and forth out, but I think that trial and error is part of the decorating process. Things don't always turn out just how I think they might in my head, and I don't want to create an illusion of instant perfection for you guys when I'm decorating. I just don't think that's a realistic or helpful depiction of what it is to decorate a home. <music> like a dream you and I stand in wild and free with petals so golden the sun's warm kiss a love so strong a bliss whispers of the breeze secrets unfold it's you that I need it's you that I want when the world gets cold
bottom three shelves came together a little easier and I really like decorating them all together instead of one at a time so that I can make sure that all the different elements I'm using are balanced, especially when I am working with more than one color like I am here with blue and yellow. You were too tired to walk the line I said then hold up precious I can be a goldsmith And you a nomad or a tailor And we don't have to follow Free falling 
Moving back to the opposite side of the room, I added this greenery plant from the Spring Studio McGee line at Target just to keep things simple. And then I put a wreath up here above my music book cabinet after Easter and I really liked it so I decided to keep it here for summer. And then I placed a front door wall art piece I got last year from Hobby Lobby underneath it. On top of the cabinet, I wanted to carry the look of my dining room centerpiece into the living room as well, and I placed the last of my decorative blue and white spheres in this basket from Hobby Lobby, as well as the last of my lemon filler. I bought a second set of lemon filler from Target this year because I knew I wasn't going to have enough for what I wanted, and of course, I think I might have to buy some more next year because once I have it, I certainly find enough uses for it. Next to the basket, I always place a couple of my cookbooks there. I just don't have a great place to display them in my kitchen where I know they won't get messy or damaged. And since this is the closest area to my kitchen, I like to place them here. Which by the way, if you haven't tried the enchilada recipes from these Magnolia Table cookbooks, you definitely should. They are amazing. Here on the couch, I added my larger pillows with yellow striped covers from Amazon and then and the blue pillows are ones that I've had for years from Home Goods. They are Ray Dunn. Sometimes I have them with the words out. Sometimes I turn them around. And then the blue plaid blanket I also picked up from Home Goods, but this year, and it has quickly become my family's favorite blanket to use. So that is all for today's video. I love how it turned out. I think it looks so cute. All the blues and yellows with the lemons really brightens my mood, really makes me happy. So I am super excited with how it all turned out. I really hope you guys got lots of summer decorating inspiration. And if you did, or if you just enjoyed the video in general, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. It really does so much to help out my channel. And I would love it if you would consider subscribing as well. I would be so honored and blessed to have you guys stick around a while and join me here as part of my YouTube family. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.